Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Ruben GT303 giving you another short knife review on one of my pocket knives. This is the CK6M Bullseye Smith & Wesson Extreme Ox Extreme Ops Pocket Folding Knife. The manufacturer is Taylor Brands. That company was founded um, by Stuart Taylor in 1975 and they make excellent knives and um, I know he's on contract under a few companies Smith & Wesson for sure obviously uh, he makes their HRT, the Hostage Rescue Teams knives the Specs Ops and Extreme Ops knives for Smith & Wesson I picked up this knife at Big Five for $20 and I thought that was a pretty good deal and that's why I picked it up the specs on this knife, it has a 3.88 440C surgical stainless steel blade. It has a, or it is um, 4.5 inches closed, 9.06 inches open, and weighs in at 5.1 ounces. So it's a relatively large pocket knife. I wouldn't call it something small like the SOG Micron or the um, CRKT Chris. I'm sorry, Kiss. <laughs> uh, the features it has a medium to large clip point plain edge titanium coated hammer forged surgical stainless steel blade it has a thumb disc which is kind of like a thumb stud but ambidextrous and in a disc shape <laughs> it has an index flipper which is similar to say like a Carson flipper so let you open it up relatively easy let's see what else Oh yeah, the uh, flipper also doubles as like a hand protector or what I believe is called a hilt on a fixed blade, fixed blade knife, which you know kind of protects you from cutting yourself. <clears throat> it has a textured G10 handle with uh, aluminum frame, and it is a liner lock frame also, which is um, something I like. I don't necessarily prefer it, and I don't necessarily hate it at all. It locks up nice and tight. There's no play up, down, left, or right, so. It's made pretty tight. Uh, it's skeletonized, which I don't know if that was for you know looks or weight. Probably both, but looks really nice. Doesn't weigh that much. <clears throat> it has a tip-up belt clip, so when it sits in your pocket, the tip's actually pointed up. There's um, really not that many pocket knives that are like that. Um, I kind of like it because when you pull it up out of your pocket your um, index finger is right there for that index flipper let's see prop that back up there alright my thoughts on this knife um, it's a very nice medium to large sized um, semi light pocket knife made out of uh, very good materials I mean it's um, 440C and a titanium coated which is r relatively good I mean it's not like VG10 or AOS8 or AOS10 still, but it's also not some unmarked Chinese piece of crap. Um, let's see. I think that this would be a great EDC knife for really anybody. It's lightweight and kind of small. It'll fit in your pocket. You won't even notice it. All right. Well, I think I'm done with this review. I did pretty horribly. I think. <laughs> But um, if you have any questions, any comments, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Just drop them on my, um, drop a comment or give me an email. Uh, also, you can uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more knife, gun, and um, let's see, like uh, accessories reviews. Uh, I have a couple Tapco stocks and vertical foregrips. Uh, I've, I've also done, um, let's see, a few ammo tests. And I'm going to keep doing that. I'm actually going to shoot tomorrow, which will be fun. All right, well. I'm signing off. Have a good day.